Hello friends, this is Rupesh and watching CBB Nerd video series on C++ design patterns and this video is related to design patterns because it talks about if there is one object 1 and object 2, how this object 1 is going to use object 2, okay? So we'll learn all those things here. So there are basically three things, association, aggregation and composition. And these are the UML notations we use to denote association, aggregation and composition. So the diagram looks like this. So association only talks about the relation like, okay, it will tell, okay, object one is going to use object two, but it won't talk anything about object one is going to handle the life cycle of this one, or even object one is going to use the reference of object two. No, it will be the copy, meaning if object one is going to use object two, we will pass this object two into object one as a copy. So that object one can use and I mean object one can use and object two at the original place won't be changed because we pass by value. Okay. And aggregation. This is like one object will use another object by reference. So you will be actually using the same object inside object one, but in aggregation, you don't handle the lifetime of object what you use. And in composition, yeah, you got that, right? So in composition, you have two objects. This object is going to use this one. But as this is composition, this object will hold the lifetime of this one. So this diagram doesn't look like this. It actually looks like this. You have object one and you have object two here. So if object one dies, automatically object two dies. So if you will see this diagram, you will be able to understand that this composition is a very typical case and aggregation is superset of that and association is superset of both. So let's see some examples and we'll understand a little more. So this is the association example. See, as I told you that it is going to use it. So we have foo and bar, bar is passed inside foo, see this is some function and we are taking this bar inside this foo function with value. So if somebody is calling this base, they are passing this bar object as a value. So there are two copies of this object now with caller and with called function. So association only talks about the usage. It doesn't talk about the lifetime of object what you are going to use. That's why it just says foo uses bar. It doesn't talk about lifetime and all that. Let's go to more deeper, which is aggregation. And if you see aggregation, it tells that I have an object which I have borrowed from somebody else. I mean, someone else. When foo dies, bar may live on. So see this. We are taking this object as a reference. We are borrowing it. So now there is no copy. It is exactly the same object what was passed to this foo function here or constructor, whatever. So aggregation using the actual object, not the pass by value object. And then third is composition. So people get confused with mostly composition and aggregation. They don't understand why there is a big difference between them. So this is the difference. See, now we are creating this bar inside our foo class, meaning if we are writing it like this, foo, f, and this is inside some curly bracket. So if this f goes down out of this scope, this bar has to be deleted. So the destructor will be called and this bar will get deleted in that. So this is very easy to understand or remember, I'll write it here. So the first case, association is the case of by value and aggregation is the case of by reference and composition is constructed there itself meaning composition meaning it is composed inside that object what it was going to use and this is going to look like this okay so it will be very easy for you to remember this now it was easy right i'll repeat again this composition will destroy because it is composed inside this may destroy or may not destroy because we have the reference here. So it's up to you. You should not do that, but still you can 
do because you got the reference and third one is you get the value only because it was passed by value so you do whatever with that object doesn't matter it's up to you so these are three different relations i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care